Peace everyone! Welcome back to the channel. This is Danielle and on today's video we're going to be talking about quibbles. Now if you're not familiar with the term, Abdullah, who was one of Neville's mentors, actually coined this term and I think I can be able to help you understand why the reason that some of you may not be getting your manifestations exactly the way that you are visualizing them or well, let's just say you're doing affirmations or affirmations and you're still not seeing your manifestations come into fruition it may be because you have quibbles okay so we're going to talk about quibbles today and also i'm going to be sharing with you guys my biggest manifestations as of today the first thing i want you to understand is that you are the operant power of your reality I want to say this again. You are the operant power of your reality. So whatever you say goes in your reality, the thoughts that you're thinking in your head all day, every day are actually manifesting in your reality. Not only that, but as the operant power, the operant power doesn't waver. Okay? As the operant power, your words are very powerful. As the operant power, you have the ability to call into existence the things that are on the screen of your mind in your imagination. So we want to get that clear right now, that if you have quibbles, things that are basically excuses for why you can't have your desires, or you're doubting the fact that, okay, just because my manifestation may not be here right now, where is it? Those are quibbles. Quibbles are things that you are using as an excuse to doubt whether you're going to be able to get your manifestation. Now, how can I help you to understand that just because you may have quibbles doesn't really mean that you're not in alignment or it doesn't mean that you're not gonna get your manifestation? I'm gonna share with you what I did to get rid of my quibbles. And I want you to understand that just because you may have things that are going on in your mind, like you may be spiraling, you may be having a bad day, doesn't mean that you're not going to get your stuff, but you're going to have to understand that the wavering back and forth, the doing one day you're doing affirmations and then the next day you're crying because, you know, your SP hasn't called you or given you a text. These are things that we're just going to have to understand that the longer you have quibbles, the longer you allow yourself to waver back and forth, even though you know you're the operant power. OK, so as the operant power, we do not waver in our beliefs. What I was able to do when it came to getting rid of quibbles as Abdullah taught Neville. Now, just the thing about Abdullah that people don't really realize, we don't know a lot about Abdullah, who is the Ethiopian mystic that Neville really truly had the utmost respect for, but we do know that he taught Neville the law because Neville said it out of his own mouth that Abdullah taught him the law. He did it by making him understand that you are already in Barbados. Abdullah made it a clear, plain fact to Neville that you will not say that you want something and dare come to me and then ask me or say to me, oh, it's not here yet. You won't do that. Because if you're already in Barbados, you're acting as if you already have it, then we wouldn't be having this conversation. And homeboy Abdullah, he just slammed the door in his face. That's it. <laughs> Stop coming to me with this, this foolishness because he wanted Neville to understand that when you say you have something, there is no need to question when it's going to happen. You remain faithful in your assumption so that it can harden into fact, okay? So that's just a little tidbit about Abdullah and Neville. He um, is someone that Neville highly respected. Now, Abdullah was a black man in the 1930s, and this is very interesting. I want you to understand this. Because during the 1930s, black people just, you know, we were not just able to walk around doing whatever we wanted to do. But your boy Abdullah, yes. In his mind, in his imagination, he lived like a king. And one day, Neville saw him eating drinking, doing whatever he wanted to do, just being gluttonous, just enjoying his life. And Neville asked him, how is it that you can eat and drink whatever you want and you don't get fat, like the alcohol doesn't affect you? And this is what Abdullah said to Neville. See, I can do whatever I want to, but you, if you did this, it would poison you because you have quibbles. Now, what was he saying to Neville? Basically, in my reality, 
food doesn't affect me the way that it affects you because in your mind, what I'm doing is something wrong. But in my mind, everything that I touch, it turns to gold. Everything that I do, everything I ingest, it benefits me. That's literally what he was telling Neville. Like, I don't have the same hangups that you do about food and, and drinking and alcohol. So it's not going to affect my body like that. So I want you to understand that in your mind, whatever you choose to do, whatever your desires are, make sure that you are being very bold and very firm and saying it's mine. You know, we don't want to quibble and go back and forth with our desires. Decide right now that you're a master manifester. Decide right now that things work out in your favor. You want to you want a certain amount of money? Decide right now that you have 10K in your bank account. And by the way, I'm going to be doing a video very soon on how I manifested a 10K month, um, the beginning of January 2024. I totally decided that I was going to have brazen impudence, meaning that I'm not going to accept no as an answer. I will not allow my 3D circumstances to define me. And so said, so done, things started to roll in. Manifestations started to roll in from everywhere. New phones, new clients, high ticket clients. A beautiful membership that I've started off of YouTube called the Sweet Spot Membership. In my mind, I've manifested so many things when it came to just refusing to allow my quibbles to stop me. <laughs> my quibbles do not affect me anymore. Anytime you have a little doubt about something, you say no. I want you to type that down in the comments. I am the operant power. I do not waver. Okay? You have to know, and I want to encourage you that manifestation is not like something that you do just to get your things it's a lifestyle it's a way of being instead of saying okay what what do i need to do to get my manifestation instead say to yourself who do i need to become who do i need to show up as how do i need to live my life daily to see the changes come to me quickly you can manifest things in an instant if you would just believe that you can do that it's as simple as saying, I manifest instantly. All my desires come to me at once. It's really that simple. And when you have these little quibbles, just say to your quibbles, no. Quibbles be gone. So I just want to let you guys know that there are no limitations on what you can accomplish. If you want to believe that eating a piece of cheesecake only benefits you, then as the operant power, that cheesecake is only going to benefit you, okay? If you want to believe that right now you're a millionaire, you have financial freedom, then everything that you do is working in your favor. That's what it means to get rid of your quibbles and to live a life of faith, live a life of love and abundance. Only focus on the wish fulfilled, the things that bring you happiness, peace, and joy while you are thinking as the person who already has it. Test this out for yourself. I love you dearly. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments. And also, too, please check out the Sweet Spot membership. You will not be disappointed. We have a community of beautiful women who are building the life of their dreams. It's an inclusive community of people who are actors, they're, they're writers, they're holistic healers. Everybody's sharing their stories of success, helping each other out on the back end. And I'm in the group all the time. I also have one-on-one -on -one sessions throughout the group. I do master classes, workshops, all types of stuff. It's just, it's, it's the most beautiful community that I have ever seen. And I get to say that I created it. So please check it out if you are interested in that type of thing. Also too, um, I just want you to live your best life. That's all I, to, I, I just have to tell you that I've, manifested my dream life and it just happened it seemed like it was just yesterday that I was working a nine to five that I hated making minimum wage and now I am making way more money than I ever could have imagined making and I get to do it from being myself you know so that's what I want to leave you guys with have a beautiful day wherever you are bye